Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh. Today we'll be discussing about cell and subcellular organelles. So we are all aware what is a cell and what impact it has got with the life. Right. So at your school level you have studied cell is basis of life. Right. And what makes it basis of life? The cells like prokaryotes, eukaryotes. Right. Plant cells are prokaryotes, animal cells are eukaryotes and they have different subcellular organelles and they have different cell wall and cell membranes in their structure. Right. So coming to the structure of cell. Okay. First we will see the basic structure of the cell and what are all the subcellular organelles. Then we study the differences between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. A typical cell consists of a well rigid cell membrane in eukaryotes and in case of prokaryotes it is a cell wall. So as we all belongs to eukaryotic type so our concern is to study about eukaryotic cell. And here if you see in the picture like the typical composition of cell along with the subcellular organelles here you can make out plasma membrane and then you have microtubules centrioles, nucleolus, Golgi complex, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, cytoplasm, mitochondria, free ribosomes, nucleus, chromatin, nucleopore, nuclear envelope and furthermore ribosome. So all these subcellular organelles are present inside the eukaryotic cell and each Subcellular organelle is having their own functions, right? So, which is mandatory for functioning of the cell, right? To coming to the cell, which is a structural function of life, as we have stated earlier, it is a basic unit of biological activity. And why we are studying the cell here in biochemistry? So, we are all aware. So, the chemical reactions which are happening in the living system or living cell. So to study or to know these chemical reactions, it is mandatory for us to know the basic composition of cell, what it is made up of and what are all the things are present inside the cell and what are their functions, right? So that's why we are again studying about the cell in biochemistry. So here, as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of cells, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell, right? Prokaryotes, they, as I mentioned, they lack well-defined nucleus and possess relatively simple structure. Okay. And in bacteria also the same prokaryotic cell. They don't have any cell membrane. They have just a cell wall. And eukaryotes as I mentioned, it's a enclosed by a membrane. Okay. Uh, that is nucleolus. Right. And they have in, in higher organisms like animals, this eukaryotic cell is present like in human beings. And in animals. So coming to the differences like eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Here you see in red color I mentioned about the prokaryotes and in black color I mentioned about eukaryotes. The size of the cell also vary as I mentioned cell membrane the presence or absence of cell membrane and cytoplasm right. So all these things vary in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So if you see the size of the prokaryotic cell it is 1 to 10 micrometers okay and in eukaryotes it, it, the size is like huge like 10 to 100 micrometers cell membrane there is no cell membrane in case of prokaryotes they do have cell wall and in case of uh, eukaryotes they have a rigid cell membrane cytoplasm it is viscous no subcellular organelle is present in prokaryotic cell but in case of uh, my, uh, eukaryotes they have subcellular organelles as i mentioned as i've shown in the previous slide nucleus ribosomes, smooth, uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, lysosomes, peroxisomes, centrioles, all these makes the subcellular organelle inside the cell, such as especially eukaryote. So furthermore, in respect to uh, subcellular organelle uh, presence and absence, eukaryotes and prokaryotes, you can make out here, nucleus, it is present inside a nuclear zone, but in case of uh, eukaryotes, it is well defined nucleus membrane will be there and in case of nucleolus it is attached with the DNA okay and eukaryotes there is no nucleolus there is simply nucleus okay in which DNA is present 
Mitochondria is absent in prokaryotes, which is present in eukaryotes. You can make out Golgi uh, complex, which is absent in prokaryotes and it is present in eukaryotes. Cytoskeleton, totally absent in case of prokaryotes and in eukaryotes it is present. Cell division, it is of fission type. You might have studied at your school, binary fission, right? So, all these things are there in case of prokaryotes, but here mitosis. In case of eukaryotes, the cell division is mitosis. See here the diagrammatic representation of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. The size of the cell, what I have mentioned here, 0 0.1 to 10 micrometers. But in case of uh, eukaryotic cell, the size is huge, which is measuring from 100 to, uh, sorry, 10 to 100 micrometers. Right. You can make out the differences here. You see here, what are the mentions? Plasma membrane. There is no plasma membrane. In place of plasma membrane, in prokaryotes, it is having a cell wall. There is no cytoplasm in case of prokaryotes. There is a well-defined cytoplasm in case of eukaryotes. DNA is present in both, but they uh, in prokaryotes they have clear nucleolus. But here we have in prokaryotes eukaryotes we have nucleus. So coming to the cell organelles, okay, which to be separated. Then how you are going to separate the subcellular organelles, especially as we are talking about eukaryotic cell. So different subcellular organelles are there: Golgi complex. Uh, endoplasmic reticulum, uh, ribosomes, mitochondria, cytoplasm, peroxisomes, lysosomes. So different subcellular organelles. Are. So how to differentiate these subcellular organelles? So how you isolate them? Okay. So there is a technique called ultra centrifugation by using the uh, centrifugal force. So I'll give you an example. Like suppose in a bucket, in a bucket of water, if you take different weights of glasses, okay, and drop them in the water and rotate the water. So, the weighted one, the most weighted one will drown first, right? Similarly, the subcellular organelles in eukaryotic cell have different molecular weight. So, when you apply a centrifugal force, so based on their molecular weight, the weighted one will sediment first than the lighter one. Like this way, we can segregate or isolate subcellular organelles in eukaryotic cell. So, like this, so by applying centrifugal force, uh, different uh, subcellular organelles will be isolated at different centrifugal rate. Suppose like here what I have shown example. So uh, like uh, for 800 rotations per minute. Okay for 10 minutes if you do. Right. So all you get is like membrane fragments. Cell membrane you can be uh, isolating. Similarly 13,000 rotations per minute. For 10 minutes if you do you will isolate nucleus okay and the same way if you apply 1 lakh rotations per minute for 60 minutes you can isolate subcellular organelles like mitochondria lysosomes paroxysomes right and their sediments right similarly fragments of endoplasmic reticulum also be isolated by applying 2000 sorry 2 lakh rotations per minute for 3 hours of duration okay and finally ribosomes will be get it okay and which is present in the cytosol so you in this table i have clearly mentioned what are all the subcellular organelles can be isolated by applying how much amount of centrifugal force okay that means number of rotations okay like if you take nucleus you are uh, supposed to apply 600 to 750 rotations into 10 minutes right so the marker will be like dna the main component present in nucleus is dna Right, and coming to lysosomes, if you take uh, the main substance present in lysosomes, the marker is cathapsin. So, by identifying particular marker, you can make out that the particular subcellular organelle be isolated. Right, mitochondria, the enzyme which is present in mitochondria, like uh, Krebs cycle, the enzymes like alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase or like uh, succinate dehydrogenase. If you want to say, uh, isolate the cytoplasm, uh, your glycolysis will be taking place in the cytoplasm. So by isolating lactate, uh, by identifying lactate dehydrogenase, you can make out that the isolated uh, subcellular organelle is cytoplasm. So this way you can make out or you can separate subcellular organelles. The main technique to be used is ultracentrifugation. Thank you.